It's official, the 2024 COLA for SNAP benefits, otherwise known as food stamps, for the low income was just released. I have all the details and exactly what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. Right, now in this video, I do wanna share with you the details of the highly anticipated 2024 cost of living adjustment or COLA raise for SNAP benefits, also referred to as food stamps or sometimes referred to as EBT for the low income. Now this will directly relate to 43 million beneficiaries all across the country. This is pretty exciting stuff. This new announcement was literally just released moments ago. I wanna break it all down for you, what it all means and how much your raise to benefits is going to be. Now really quickly before we get into it, I just wanna clarify, this COLA that we're talking about right here is specifically focused on SNAP benefits, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, food stamps. This is not for uh, Social Security. It is not for Social Security retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, SSI, VA. That announcement will be coming out in October, okay? So I wanna make that very, very clear so that there's no miscommunication or there's no confusion about this. Anyway, let's get into it and talk through all the numbers. Really fast before we do, thanks so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe right down below the video. Totally free to do so. And I'm here for you right by your side every single day, watching the latest details, hitting the wire and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay posted on what is actually going on and anything out there right now that's going to impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account, and of course, anything popping up you can possibly grab and or take advantage of. Things are busy right now. Like I've said before in other videos, between now and the end of the year, it is going to be very, very busy with more big announcements just like this. So again, subscribe down below so you don't miss anything going forward. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. And also, do your friends, family, and social media a huge favor. Share this video with them, especially if you know somebody that is getting SNAP benefits. This is a big, big announcement. All right, let's get into it and talk through all the numbers. I have to say this much to start this one out. Honestly, I'm kind of disappointed, okay? There's been a lot of information coming out over the last several months here, speculation as far as how much the COLA is likely going to be. Big shocker, the COLA came in significantly less than what they said it was going to be based on the speculation. So here's what it comes down to. The COLA, starting in fiscal year 2024, remember, fiscal year 2024 starts October 1st. That is when this raise will go into effect. It does not go by the calendar year. It goes by the fiscal year of the federal government. That is October 1st through September 30th. So this raise will be going into effect in less than two months, in October, okay? Here's what it comes down to. The raise, depending on your household size, is going to range anywhere between 3.5 and 3.7%. That's it. Seriously, if you've been watching the videos here on the channel for a while now, for the last few months here, I've been seeing speculation coming out anywhere between uh, about 8.3 and about 10.5%. 35 to 3.7% is where the COLA is going to be based on household size. That is pathetically lower than what we've been hearing for the last couple months here. I'm pretty disappointed, honestly. I am not very happy about this COLA coming in this low, but at the end of the day, at least it's something versus a zero. Because remember this much as well, it could have been zero, okay? They could have stiffed us again this year. So I just have to say this much, at least it is something, okay? Not nearly as high as what we wanted it to be, but this is what it's going to be. Now, what's interesting about this as well, quick little side note so I can digress on this, just to throw this out there, food inflation, I'm sorry, but it is way, way higher than three and a half percent. So I'm not really sure what's going on here but this is what they come out with. And unfortunately, once they announce it, this is about it, okay? All right, so anyway, it's just started to vent for a second there. I apologize. <laughs> if you want to vent, please feel free to vent down below in the comment section. Comments are always welcomed here. Just say what you got to do here, but we're all here together, okay? We got to stick together through this. Anyway, now that they've announced this, this is the official announcement. Let me break down the numbers for you. Let me give you the maximum household size benefit based on your household size. Now, here's the thing. It goes all the way up to a household size of eight. I'm not gonna break that down because I'm guessing there's not too many people here in the community who have a household size of eight. However, I will break it down to a household size of four just so we can all see what this is going on and you'll see the trend here, okay? All right, so let me break the numbers down for you. A household size of one, as in, you know, obviously it's just you in your household. Remember, it's always based on household size to determine how much your, bene how much your benefit is going to be on a monthly basis. Household size of one, maximum benefit for fiscal year 2024, 
$291, an increase of $10 per month. That's it, okay? That is a household size of one. Right now in fiscal year 2023, it is $281. They're bumping it up by $10 a month to $291 is the maximum household size uh, of one person, okay? All right, next, a household size of two. This is bumping up up to $535, okay? So if you are a household size of two, you know, obviously probably you and a and a, maybe a, a dependent, maybe you and a spouse, whatever it happens to be, doesn't really matter. Uh, but if you're in a household size of two, the maximum benefit for fiscal year 2024 is $535 a month, okay? That's the maximum, okay? Next, a household size of three. If you're living in a household size of three, the maximum benefit size for your household is $766 a month in fiscal year 2024. And remember that starts October 1st is the new fiscal year that this will be going into effect, okay? Next, household size of four, okay? If you're living in a household size of four, your maximum benefit would be $973 a month. These are the new numbers here, okay? Just to put that into perspective, this year in fiscal year 2023, as I still record this video, um, you know, obviously we're still in fiscal year 2023 as of right now that I record this video, the maximum household size for a high, uh, sorry, the maximum household benefit for a household size of four is $939 right now, and it's going up to $973. So what is that? Um, uh, an increase of $34, okay? So it's not that much. $34 is how much that's increasing for a household size of four. Now, here's what's interesting about this. I read a bunch of reports on this. I did a bunch of research on this, and here's what it comes down to. Basically, for a household size of four, getting the maximum $973 a month, this comes out to $8 per day per person or about $2.66 a meal. Can you eat anything for $2.66? I'm not sure, but... Um, I don't really think so. I mean, I'm not sure what you're eating, but that's not much, okay? That does not leave much room for anybody to get a whole lot of options with that, okay? And remember this much as well. We all know this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna state the obvious for just a second. Healthy food options are way more expensive than easy, convenient food options, right? You know what I mean? And again, I don't need to elaborate on that a ton. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You try to go to the grocery store, buy some healthy options, and you're paying like twice as much. Well, I'm sorry, if you're trying to uh, budget on $2.66 a meal or $8 per person per day, that doesn't go very far, right? That does not go very far at all. So anyway, that's just what I found here in this report. So again, some interesting stuff here, but this is the official announcement uh, regarding SNAP benefits, food stamps, supplemental nutrition assistance program. Now, again, I know I said this earlier, but I'm gonna throw it out there one more time really quickly. This is not the COLA for social security, retirement, SSDI, survivors, SSI, VA. Now, yes, you could be one of those beneficiaries and getting SNAP benefits. Yes, this does pertain to you, but it does not pertain to the COLA for your monthly benefit of those that I just mentioned, Social Security, SSDI, the whole list there. That COLA is announced out of Social Security in October, okay? So stay tuned on that. Two separate COLAs here. Want to make that very clear. However, what's interesting about this, I foresee the COLA for these other benefits administered by the Social Security Administration. I foresee that same COLA coming in around the same range, maybe around that three-ish and a half percent, give or take a little bit, probably not quite that high. But it's kind of interesting how the COLA for SNAP is coming in at three and a half to 3.7, and likely the COLA out of Social Security is probably gonna be somewhere around that range as well. Maybe lowish three range, maybe three and a half range, somewhere around there. So. Anyway, kind of weird how they're coming in together at the same point. So this is the official announcement. We've been talking about this one for a while now. It's official. Here it is. It just hit the tape a short time ago. I want to bring this to you right away. Hope you're having a nice afternoon so far. Again, thanks so much for joining me. Truly appreciate it. Leave your comments, your questions, your feedback down below. Whatever I can do for you, I'm here for you. Let me know what I can do. Leave a comment. Uh, if you want to vent a little bit about this, throw it down below. Everything is welcome here, okay? It's what just want to do what I can for you. And then, like I said a minute ago, honestly, I'm pretty disappointed by this. It's about 5% lower than what it really needs to be. It's crazy, right? So anyway, I'm here for you. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, those individuals who are also receiving SNAP benefits. And again, go back and check out some of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Take care. Have a good one and catch you again later in the next